The place where the worst part of the narcissism took place is coming to a close. This chapter is at the end. I move tomorrow back to Niagara Falls um, <coughs> to the house to, I guess, live with um, two of my kids and a friend and um, my son's girlfriend. And then my son Jacob is coming home in a couple months back to the falls to help me with my mom. And we're going to work together and be healthy and eat healthy and get in shape. And I've enjoyed um, filming from my balcony. I have the most beautiful pictures of skies and videos and birds and nature and trails. And I am going to really miss it. But at the same time, a new chapter is going to begin in my life. And this chapter begins with peace and inner peace, unconditional love, just plain old love. And the most important is to love my mother. My mom, she's 81 and she's pure, stubborn love, pure love. She loves hard. She's a very strong religious woman. Lately, she's been kind of barking orders, but um, she's, she's, been taken by the narcissist too so it's going to be a healing for a lot of us a lot of us and uh, I've had some really good conversations with my oldest son Jacob and I've had a few conversations with my son Kyle and my daughter is starting to talk to me a little bit I mean it was funny not to laugh today so my son has a chocolate lab and she's about seven months old and her name is Rose and she'll be in my videos coming up soon so, Ariel was trying to have a poo, and Rose decided that she wanted to just walk over top of her, and she was hovering over her, and Ariel was trying to get this stupid little piece of poo out. And finally, it came out, but I ran in the house, and I'm like, oh my goodness, like, this dog is hyper as heck, and the chocolate labs are. We had um, a lab before of 12 years. She was, Summer was her name, and she died of cancer, actually. Um, anyhow, um, I, I, I said to my daughter and I started laughing and she actually cracked a laugh, which was really nice. It's really nice. I'm really hoping we get back what we've lost and I believe we can in time. I think that the whole family's going to heal and I get my results from the doctor on Thursday so I can get my ulcerative colitis, um, fixed or helped or it's autoimmune and it's forever but I need to get it under control so that I can uh, start eating better and I got some weight to gain and I'm doing some push-ups as you can see in my one video lol not really because I'll fall flat on my butt or my face anyways um I'm just gonna gather some more thoughts and I'll be back I'll see you in a bit promise don't forget to like and subscribe So this chapter in my life is also going to be tricky because that's where the narcissism started. It started there when I moved in before I got married in um, July of 2017. And it was horrific. And then we moved here to the apartment and I realized just how bad I had been taken. And I know I'm dealing with a covert narcissist and an alcoholic, well, a dry drunk. And he still hasn't been in contact to get his stuff. I'm probably going to be here an extra night just cleaning up and packing stuff. And I am terrified to go home to the trauma-ridden home, but... I think that's where I need to be to heal. To love everybody just like God loved us. I have forgiven myself for what I allowed happen to me. And I have forgiven others. And I'm still ready and willing to forgive others. But there's some that I just can't, I can't forgive. I can forgive myself, but I don't even hate my husband, I really, 
I don't. I still believe that he has it in him, and, you know, maybe somewhere down the road, if he decides recovery is what he wants, I don't understand why anybody would want money or a piece of property over, like, having a wife and lovemaking and stuff like that. Like, what the... I, I just don't understand. We've had some amazing times, and I really believed it. Except I often wondered, because apparently a few asked him on our wedding day if he was happy, and and he's like, yeah, but if you look at the pictures, he looks like a grumpy old man. Yep, looks like he's about 70 years old. And now he even looks older, because he is, I'm sure, in a very bad way. I don't think he has another supply, but if he does, good for him. I hope he has fun. But I really hope that he gets help so he doesn't take this other woman down in, um, before he gets recovery because it's brutal, it's vicious, it's deadly. And especially with COVID and people de dealing with this kind of narcissism and gaslighting and domestic violence and you name it. People can't take anymore. Too many people are dying. COVID's still out there. I mean, the last was a seven-year-old, and they're just, it's just sad that there's too many people dying, and too many people just don't care. They just don't care. Please, please wear a mask for you, for me, for my mom, for anybody out there who's not well. Please, I'm begging you. I really am begging you. In the sky. Oh, wow. I love it when the sun, I like the sunrise and the sunset, and I'm going to try and catch the sunrise in the morning. I am, yeah, because it's beautiful, and it's really hard to, to not look at, and uh, I, I'm going to miss this. Um, I've got lots of packing to do still, and um, I would love for you to uh, like and subscribe and follow my journey. Um, my journey now will start to get better as I'm on a very different journey, um, I've accepted Jesus, and I pray daily for my family, my friends, even my enemies, you know, what's the point in fighting, um, fighting doesn't get you anywhere, stress doesn't get you anywhere, being not who you say you are doesn't get you anywhere, lies, they just don't get you anywhere. Start being clean with your truth. Truth always, 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 always prevails. We always know that, don't we? But I'd also like to thank each and every one of you who have educated me. And even on TikTok, I mean, I've talked to people who have millions of followers. I've never had that in my life. And if you're being abused or you're in a situation, there is help. You just have to reach for it and not be afraid. Reach for this reach for the stars. I am going to move a mountain or two because when I get better, I'm still going to Nova Scotia and out west and I'm going to raise awareness on what's been done to me so this doesn't happen to your family or especially your daughter, your son, your grandchildren. I mean, I was also cyber bullied for three years. Didn't know it. No, nope, I didn't until when I woke up from this horrific nightmare here. I had screenshot everything because my children did teach me how to do that and I am grateful that they did because I screenshot everything and the stuff that I went through and the other thing is like I know you say that the narcissist will follow you on social media and stalk you and everything else but he blocked all that he he went off of that because he doesn't like social so he has to be a covert and not an overt is it correct I'm hoping because I'm hoping I'm educating on the correct thing. And I, I also need to educate more on, on mental health because I suffer it, my daughter suffers it, my son suffers it, their dad does, and it's just brutal. And it's time to change the stigma of everybody fearing life. And that's the new normal. Don't touch anything. Just fear everything. You know, it's sad. It's a very sad world. And... We're only divided by borders because the heavens, they're wide open. Wide open. Just like I am for conversation. If you want to help me, that's great. I can help you too. Let's work together in unity and we can help each other get through 
this so-called life journey. Um, it's going to be a tough one for me and my mom, but I believe it's that God only gives you what he feels you can handle. And when he feels that you have taken too much, then he pulls back on you. And that's exactly what he did. And I think I needed to learn these lessons in order to get through this tough time because these last five years since my dad's been gone, when he died, the glue fell apart to my family. And now I just want to love my whole family again. Not, maybe not all. There's a couple I don't, but the majority I can forgive and I can move on and I can live and be happy for my mom's journey because this will be her final journey in life. And I love my mom with all my heart and I'm not ready to lose her. So just pray with me that we have her for a little while longer with some good quality time. She has a very sick woman, a lot of health ailments and uh, enough is enough for my poor mom. God bless everybody, love and light. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a super night. Bless you. Enjoy the rest. Yeah, I have fun making things. I really do. And uh, I see that uh, that light that's attached to me is back again. It's it's a light green. And earlier there was something pink. And I'm like, what the heck is the pink color? It's beautiful. But I'm going to start checking into all that and figuring it out. And uh, I raise my hand to Jesus. I do, you'll see in my videos. I really enjoy doing this. There we go. I raise my hand. And it's it's looking like this, the sun is in my hand. And it's beautiful. And I love it. And it's just that warm. And anyways, love and light, everybody. God bless. And uh, see what kind of surprise I have to here probably Thursday I'm free for a few days and I'm gonna go have some more golf cart fun with my friend and other friends and all my friends and then I'm gonna see my son and I'm gonna visit him and I'm gonna try and take my mom away for a little bit and um, yeah just enjoy her I let, love to go north I mean it's beautiful there and I was thinking of taking her up to the Nordic Inn I've been there a couple times and uh I remember that from when I was a little girl, and it's, it's okay, it's not so bad, there's really no lake, maybe I'll go to the Tally Ho Inn where I can walk into the water, and uh, that's where I went actually for Christmas, and that was okay, but once again, it was with my husband, and it was all a lie too, so, um, but it's still nice, there's, there's many, many lakefront cottages, and I'd love to just be able to let my mom just walk right on in. And Ariel will walk right on in as long as she's got a way to walk. Yep, if she can feel it and see it, she'll walk it. But she does not like a bath. So, I um, keep following because I am about to show you how much fun that somebody can have without a man. Without a man, I am done with men. I left for my friends, or my sons, or my grandkids, or grand dogs, or whatever. I am done with nails beyond that. So, toodaloo and enjoy. Ha 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 ha.